Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, my voice went to shit, and I took some time off for family. Alright, so we're back to Human Resource Machine. So, let's go ahead and go to the sabbatical beach paradise. It's our 18th year. This looks more like a scene you'd see in Fallout because it's all like dusty and just like uh what's that color filter Se sepia or something like that all right so now that we got the beach paradise out of the way let's check out the exclusive whatever this room was I already skipped it yes I have always felt most comfortable with nice cold logical decisions emotion emotional decisions are for the weak exclusive lounge that's what it was for each two things in the inbox send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign both positive or both negative send a one to the outbox if their signs are different repeat until inbox is empty um how to do this. Okay, I can't figure this one out in my head right now, so we'll go to countdown. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. Time keeps ticking down. Let's get to work. Oh, yes, I love what you've done with your hair. Yes, it's the, uh, balding look. For each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. You've got new commands. They add one or subtract one from the, an item on the floor. The result is given back to you and, and for your convenience also written right back on the floor. Bump. So I want to grab from the inbox, copy to zero outbox if negative bump up zero I'm gonna need to repeat this part was bump down zero and then repeat the program. <clears throat> All right, so this will grab from the inbox, copy it to zero. It'll then outbox that. Okay, I need to copy from. Right? I think so. All right, let's let's test that. See what happens. So I put it on the floor. Oh, I may have ordered this a little, uh, yeah, I ordered this a little weird. So, hang on, grab from the end box, copy it to zero. And outbox that. Next, I want to copy from. Okay, yeah, there. Let's try that. Oh, I don't have a outbox. Oops. Okay, 
I found an infinite loop. I made an infinite loop. Um, okay, so... So, let's see. What we want to do is, first off, add in an outbox down here before we jump back up. Also want to if it's zero, we want to go back to the beginning. Try that and see what happens. Okay, it's going right so far. Let's add some caffeine. Oh, I see what I did. Jump if negative is supposed to go down another space. Okay, this should work. Add caffeine. Okay, what did I do? I see what I did. So... What happened was, it checked to see if it was negative, it was negative, it jumped down here, it added one, but then it went right down to the next line and added, or took it down a spot again. Okay, this should work. Maybe. Add caffeine. Okay, there we go. Did it. I didn't complete either of those challenges. Oh, well, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, multiplication workshop. This ought to be fun. Seems like only yesterday we were learning about adding fond memories. We worked so hard back then. For each two things in the inbox, multiply them and outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You got labels. They can help you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap any tile on the floor to edit. Delete. Delete. Okay, I think I will use those though. Get rid of whatever that is. Okay. So, multiplication. I wanna. I want first number. I want second number. So, inbox. Copy to first. Inbox copy to second. So, I'm only got adding and subtracting. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take the two numbers 
and I'm gonna have to add one number to itself a certain amount of times. So what I'm gonna have to figure out is which number is bigger. Subtract. Okay, so I have the second number in my hand, subtract the first. If I subtract the first, and if negative, that means the first number is bigger. If negative, copy from first. So, hold on. What all am I need? What all do I need? I got first number and a second number. I've got run total count because I need a counter I need the number Run's not the right word for that. We'll call it num. N num. There we go. So I've got the number, I've got the total, I've got the counter. I think that's all I need. Probably. So. Grab from the inbox, copy to the first, inbox, copy to second. Then take the second number, subtract the first number. If it's negative, that means the first number is bigger. So I need to copy from first, copy to number, Copy from second, copy to count. So that should get me the numbers I need. So if it's negative, do that. If it's not negative, that means the second number is bigger, so I want to copy from first, copy to count, copy from, copy from second, copy to num. I shouldn't need that there. Okay, so I'm gonna run a test of this just to see if I it does this right. So the first number is eight, second number is five. I want to subtract five from eight. The number's negative. That means eight's bigger, so I'm gonna put that where the number is. Not enough stuff in outbox management. Expected a total of five item five items, not zero. Okay. So, yeah, it did place those right. Let's run another test real quick, though. Just to see if the other part works right. So, four goes and count. Five goes number. Okay, so it places them where I want it to. That's good. So now, I've got to multiply. So, let's see. So, I want to bump down the count. Copy from number. Add number. Copy to total.
So if the count's zero, I want to get out of this loop. Okay. So copy from number, add number, copy to total, bump down the count. Okay, I think that's right. So now if I'm outside of the jump, I need to outbox. I need to copy from total. Okay, let's see if that works. Shit. Okay. Let's see if that works. This will repeat until the counter is zero. Okay, two is the smaller number, so that goes there. Three is the bigger number, so it goes there. Bump down the counter. Bump down the counter. Okay, the counter is zero, so the total should be six. Then I go back up to the top. Okay, so 6 is the bigger number, so we're going to multiply 6. So bump down the counter, copy from number, and add it together. Okay, looks like I did it. Oh, until this happens. What happens if the counter's already zero? Uh. Okay, infinite loop. Okay, so I cut. I noticed two problems there. First off, if the counter is already zero. Okay, so copy from count. If count is negative, bump up instead of down. Copy from count. If negative, jump down here, bump up. If negative, come down here, bump it up. If it's zero, come down here. Okay, hold on. If negative, jump down to here, bump it up. If it's zero, jump down here jump down here jump down here copy from number out box and then jump back up to Okay, the two problems I had were if the counter is already zero, the other problem I had was that I don't copy from total every time. I copied from number and added number, and then I copied that to total. Okay, so what I'm going to do is whenever I copy to number, I'm also going to copy to total. Because that'll be the first time, I think. Copy to number, copy to total. So then I copy from total instead of copying from number. Okay, let's see what happens. So the first number is 7, the second number is 4. 4 is smaller, so 4 should become the counter.
Okay, so 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, so yeah, 28. So 8 times 1 is 8. So I should put 8 into the outbox. So then, okay, yeah, here comes a 0. So 0 is smaller than 8, so 0 will become the counter. So then I pick up the counter. Bad outbox management, ex bad outbox management expected 0, but you outboxed 8. Oh, that's right, anything times zero is zero. <laughs> Oops. Okay, overlook that fact. Okay, inbox copy to first. Copy to second. Okay, so I will need a zero. Okay, so if one of my numbers is zero, I'm supposed to outbox zero, of course. Okay. So if the second number is zero, Okay, so if the first or second number is zero, if the first number is zero, I still need to do it in box. And then I need to copy from zero and outbox that. And then I need to jump back up into the program where I jump back up to the very top of the program. Okay. Math is fun. Okay, so 4 times 4 is 16. That was right. 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, now 5 times 0 is 0. There we go. 0, awesome. 6 times 9 is, what, 54, I think? Yay, we did it! This incredibly long and complicated program. But we did it! Use 15 or fewer commands. I used 42. Wow. Okay. Okay, I think there is an achievement in this game for breaking the numbers, so we're going to go back to the multiplication workshop. So we're going to come over here and make a brand new program. We're going to take inbox, we're going to copy to... Oh, you get new labels with each program. Cool. I'm gonna call this one. Break it. Okay, we're gonna copy to break it. We're gonna add break it, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna jump like that. Throw an outbox in there just because we can. Oh, 
Overflow. Each data unit is restricted to values between negative 999 and 999. That should be enough for anybody. Okay. Now I think I should get an achievement for that. I think. I don't think I already did it. Fibonacci Visitor. I don't like the sound of this. This back hallway is for advanced employees only. Are you sure you want to be here? The night shift assignments are optional, you know, and they are difficult. If you need to ask for help, I'll just be here looking through these catalogs for a golden spiral. Okay, for each thing in the inbox, send the outbox the full Fibonacci sequence up to, but not exceeding that value. For example, if inbox is 10, outbox should be 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. What's a Fibonacci sequence? Ask your boss or a friendly search box. So, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. Okay, so the Fibonacci sequence is taking that number and the number before it, or the number before it in the sequence, adding that together and getting a third value. Zero terminated sum. Yes, we believe in educating our employees on the job. Do you know what a zero terminated string is? Yet, yeah, this is a very old technique that we don't expect you to know. So, you may ask about it if you like, or you may ask an external source. Whatever helps you get the job done. The inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. What's that? Ask me, your boss. Add together all of the numbers in each string. When you reach the end of a string marked by a zero, Put your sum in the outbox, reset, and repeat for each string. Okay, so, like I've got 9, 3, 0 here. So it wants me to add 9 and 3 together to get 12, and then outbox 12, and then start over. Okay, so inbox copy to num inbox add num and then I want to repeat this part Inbox is zero. Come down here. Copy from num outbox and then jump back up to the start. Also, I need to check to make sure I'm not grabbing a zero immediately. So inbox if zero. So this will be the first thing after a string. So I want to copy from zero zerk copy from zero and outbox that and then jump back up here to the top. So what I'm doing is I grab from the inbox, check to see if it's zero. If it's zero, I'm gonna grab the zero and I'm gonna outbox that back up here. If it's not zero, I copy my number to num. I jump down here, I inbox. If the inbox is zero, I come down here, copy from num, and outbox that. Otherwise, I add to the number on the floor, and then I grab from the inbox again. Okay, this should work, I think. Except for I don't add to it at all add number and then copy to number. <laughs> okay, there. Let's try that one. So, Outbox is, ex is expecting a 3. So, 
Okay, looks like I'm doing this right. Now, Outbox is expecting a 1 here. I think I did this wrong. Okay, I did that part right. No. Okay, looks like I may have done it right. So here, Outbox is expecting a big number. I 10, 13, 11, 19. Outbox is expecting 19. Awesome, I did it right. I thought I would have screwed something up there. Oh, I thought she was flipping me off at first. <laughs> okay, that's going to be my last level for today. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry I struggled so much on these few... One, two, three, four, five. Five levels. I only completed three of them. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that'll be it from me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!